Ever wondered what the most epic fails in history are? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a cringeworthy journey through time. From the infamous Titanic, the ship that was deemed unsinkable, to the architectural facepalm that is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We'll even delve into the bizarre world of 18th century hairstyles that were literally a fire hazard. And let's not forget France's expensive and utterly ineffective Maginot line. Plus, we'll revisit one of the most monumental marketing disasters of all time, courtesy of Coca-Cola. Each of these epic fails is a lesson in humility, a reminder that even the best laid plans can go spectacularly wrong. So sit back, relax, and prepare for a roller coaster ride of historical blunders. Stay tuned as we dive into the first of our epic historical fails. Picture an unsinkable ship, the largest and most luxurious of its time. This was the Titanic, a marvel of early 20th century engineering. Its creators boasted about its revolutionary design, believing it was impervious to disaster. The Titanic was seen as a symbol of human triumph over nature, a floating palace defying the elements. But, as fate would have it, this overconfidence was misplaced. The Titanic's design included watertight compartments, believed to make the ship virtually unsinkable, but in a cruel twist of irony, it was this very design that sealed the ship's fate. When the ship hit an iceberg in the North Atlantic, it caused damage to several of these compartments, the damage was more than the ship could handle, and the unsinkable Titanic began to sink. The tragic sinking of the Titanic was not just a failure of engineering, it was a striking example of human arrogance. The ship's creators were so confident in their design that they did not equip the Titanic with enough lifeboats for all its passengers and crew. As a result, when disaster struck, there were not enough lifeboats to save everyone on board. The lack of lifeboats, coupled with the cold, frigid waters of the Atlantic, led to the loss of more than 1,500 lives. The sinking of the Titanic is a stark reminder of the dangers of overconfidence. It shows us that no matter how advanced our technology, how foolproof our designs, or how confident we are in our abilities, we are not invincible. We are susceptible to error, to miscalculations, and to the unpredictable forces of nature. The Titanic, once a symbol of human triumph, became a symbol of human failure. It remains one of the most infamous examples of an epic fail in history, a blunder that could have been avoided had it not been for human hubris and overconfidence, a harsh reminder that even the unsinkable can sink. An iconic symbol of Italy, yet one of the biggest architectural blunders. Yes, we're talking about the Leaning Tower of Pisa, a marvel that has been leaning for over 800 years. But how did this happen? Let's delve into it. In the 12th century, a group of ambitious builders set out to create a bell tower that would stand tall and proud in the city of Pisa. However, they didn't account for one crucial detail, the ground. The tower was being built on a weak, unstable subsoil, which was a mixture of clay, fine sand, and shells. This unstable foundation was unable to support the tower's weight, and so the leaning began. By the time the builders reached the third floor, the tower had started to noticeably tilt. But instead of admitting defeat, they decided to continue, hoping to correct the lean by building the upper floors with one side taller than the other. Well, that didn't quite work out, and the tower continued to lean more and more year after year. Fast forward to the late 20th century. The lean had increased to a dangerous five and a half degrees and the tower was on the brink of collapsing. So a team of engineers, soil experts, and historians were brought in to save this iconic structure. They removed soil from under the higher end, installed counterweights, and reinforced the foundation. After a decade of careful work, the tower was finally stabilized. Today, the lean is about 4 degrees, and thanks to modern engineering, it's predicted to stay that way for at least another 200 years. So, while it was an epic fail in the beginning, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has become a testament to human ingenuity and persistence, a beloved symbol of Italy. So, remember, even when things seem to be going horribly wrong, they might just end up creating a unique piece of history that will be cherished for centuries. Let's travel back to the 18th century, a time when hairstyles were more than just fashion statements. Picture this, towering coiffures reaching heights of up to four feet teetering atop the heads of high society ladies. These were not just hairstyles, they were architectural feats, complete with miniature garden landscapes, bird cages, even model ships. But as you might imagine, these hairstyles were more than a little impractical, they were also incredibly hazardous. With hair piled so high and lacquered with flammable pomades, they were walking fire hazards. 
And let's not forget the candles used for lighting during this period which were everywhere. There are numerous accounts of ladies accidentally setting their hair on fire, creating sudden and dramatic spectacles at social gatherings. And then there was the hygiene factor. These hairstyles were not washed or brushed out for weeks, sometimes even months at a time. This created a perfect breeding ground for lice and other vermin. Some women even carried around special sticks to scratch their scalps or shoo away the bugs. Yet despite these obvious drawbacks, the hairstyles remained popular. In fact, they were seen as a status symbol, a way for women to literally and metaphorically elevate themselves above the crowd. The more elaborate and towering the hairstyle, the more it signified the wearer's wealth and social standing. So, while we may look back on these hairstyles and see them as an epic fail, at the time, they were the epitome of fashion and status. They were a testament to the lengths people will go to stand out, even if it means risking personal comfort, hygiene, and even safety. We may shake our heads at these 18th century fashion trends, but let's be honest, every era has its own unique set of fashion fails. Who knows, maybe one day people will look back at our current trends and think, what were they thinking? Ever heard of the Maginot line, France's giant waste of money? Now there's an epic fail that's earned its place in the annals of history. In the interwar period, after the devastation of the First World War, France was eager to safeguard itself against future invasions. The solution? The Maginot Line, a colossal network of fortifications, underground tunnels, and state-of-the-art defenses stretching along the German border. With its impressive artillery towers and concrete bunkers, the Maginot Line was like the Great Wall of France, a seemingly impenetrable barrier designed to deter any potential invaders. But here's the kicker. The Maginot Line was built on the assumption that the next war would mirror the last. And we all know what they say about assumptions. The French military strategists hadn't considered that warfare, much like time, moves forward, not backwards. While France was busy pouring resources into this massive defensive structure, Germany was developing a new style of warfare, the Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, which emphasized speed and mobility. And when the Second World War rolled around, the Germans did what no one expected. They simply drove around it, invading France through the Ardennes Forest, a region considered by the French to be impassable for an army. The Maginot Line, this concrete titan that had cost France billions of francs and years of labor, was rendered essentially useless. It's a story of irony, of miscalculation, and of the dangers of failing to adapt to changing circumstances. In the end, the Maginot Line stands as a monument to the futility of trying to predict the future based on the past. It's a costly reminder that the best laid plans can sometimes go awry. Despite its grandeur and formidable appearance, the Maginot Line was nothing more than a white elephant, a testament to one of history's most epic fails. So next time you're planning something big, remember the Maginot Line, because no matter how well you think you've planned, it's always worth considering the unexpected. After all, you wouldn't want to end up with your own Maginot Line, would you? A costly reminder that the best laid plans can sometimes go awry. In the 80s, Coca-Cola decided to change its classic formula. Yes, you heard that right. The soft drink giant, with its iconic red cans and a taste loved by millions across the globe, decided to meddle with the magic. They introduced New Coke, a soda that was sweeter, smoother, and supposedly better. But oh, how wrong they were! New Coke was met with an uproar like no other. Consumers were not just dissatisfied, they were downright furious. It was as if a favorite old song had been remixed into a tuneless jumble. Letters poured into Coca-Cola's headquarters, protests were held, and boycotts were initiated. The public sentiment was clear. They wanted their old Coke back. The response was so intense that it took Coca-Cola just 79 days to reintroduce the original formula. Yes, in less than three months, the company had to backtrack on its bold new venture. The original Coke was rebranded as Coca-Cola Classic and was welcomed back with open arms while new Coke faded into obscurity. This epic marketing disaster serves as a stark reminder of the power of consumer loyalty and the danger of messing with a beloved brand. Coca-Cola's bold step was not met with the applause they had anticipated. Instead, it led to a public relations nightmare and a swift return to the drawing board. The new Coke debacle is an iconic fail in the annals of marketing history. It left a mark so deep that it's still studied in business schools and marketing courses around the world. A classic example of how a seemingly brilliant idea 
can go spectacularly wrong if it doesn't resonate with the consumer's taste and preference. So the next time you're sipping on a Coca-Cola Classic, remember the tale of New Coke. It serves as a potent reminder that sometimes, the best course of action is staying true to what works. After all, as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And there you have it, some of history's most epic fails. We've journeyed from the icy waters of the North Atlantic with the unsinkable Titanic to the leaning disaster of Pisa. We've witnessed the towering hair hazards of the 18th century and the colossal waste of money that was the Maginot Line. And who could forget the unforgettable marketing blunder of New Coke? Each of these tales is a testament to human ambition, overconfidence, and at times sheer lack of foresight. Yet they also remind us of our ability to learn, evolve, and even laugh at our past missteps. As we move forward, these epic fails serve as poignant reminders of where we've been and how far we've come. So now it's your turn. Think back through the annals of history. Which historical faceplant makes you cringe the hardest? Share with us in the comments.